In this video, we will derive steady state error in case of input is unit parabola. So, up to now in the previous two videos, we derived the steady state error for unit step input and ramp input. In this class, we are going to derive the steady state error for unit parabolic input. So, here you can see the steady state error. So, we already had this topic related to steady state error. So, steady state error can be calculated by using the formula according to final value theorem limit s tends to 0 s into e of s where e of s is the Laplace, Laplace transform of the error signal e of t. So, we already know the equation to e of s, e of s is equal to r of s divided by 1 plus g of s into h of s. For these two equations how they came? So, you just refer a video related to steady state error. In the steady state error concept, we derived these two equations for E of S and for steady state error. So, this equation you just consider like equation number 1 and here R of S is the input transform. But here they are saying you need to consider the input signal as parabolic signal. So, here parabolic signal means nothing but uh, it is a uh, t square by 2. So, you need to consider, you need to consider t square by 2 as your parabolic signal. So, now I am going to consider like that. So, here E of S R of t is equal to parabola. So, R of t is equal to parabola. So, you know the transform, Laplace transform of parabola. Laplace transform of parabola is nothing but 1 by s cube. So, here r of t is equal to parabola means, so r of s is nothing but, so 1 by s cube. We know the transform of parabola. We know the Laplace transform of parabola is equal to 1 by s cube. Just I am substituting this value and this value in this equation. That means in E of S equation, I am just replacing this R of S and I am substituting in ESS. So, my equation number 1 will become like this. ESS is equal to limit S tending to 0 S into in place of E of S. When I am writing R of S, I can write S cube divided by. So, 1 plus G of S into H of S. So, 1 s and 1, 1 power is going to cancel, remaining is s square. That s square, I am taking it to denominator and I am multi multiplying for these two factors. So, now s is equal to limit s tending to 0, 1 divided by s square plus s square into g of s into h of s. I need to apply this limit to inside. For numerator that is a constant, no need to apply limit. For the denominator, if I applied s tends to 0, this term will be equal to 0. Remaining is, so limit s tending to 0, s square into g of s into h of s. So that means, so here 1 divided by, so limit s tending to 0, s square into g of s into h of s. So this will be your ESS. This is nothing but if you observe static error constants, so this equation is equal to one of the static error constant that is called as acceleration error constant. So, that is noted with k a 1 by k a where k a is equal to where k a is equal to limit s tending to 0 s square into g of s into h of s. So, this is the static steady state error when the input is unit parabola. So, now this 1 by k may be either 0 or constant or infinity. This steady state error may be either 0, constant or infinity. That is dependent upon the type order of the system. So, that means 1 by k value may be equivalent to 0 or equivalent to constant or equivalent to infinity. So, that is dependent upon the value of k a. Value of k is always dependent upon the type order of the system. So, if you are doing with type 0 system. So, here for a type 0 system, if you want to calculate k a. So, k a is equivalent to limit s tending to 0 s square into g of s into h of s. 
this is your equation to calculate acceleration error co con constant. So, here k is equivalent to s times to 0 s square into g of s into h of s. So, where g of s into h of s is a loop transfer function that is equivalent to k into s plus z1 s plus z2 so on s plus p1 s plus p2 so on. You just refer the video type order of the system for better clarification. Here you will get s power n there in that video I used to give the equation for g of s into h of s as like this. But why I am not taking this s power n means for type 0 system for a type 0 system the n value is equivalent to 0. So, s power 0 we do not require s power 0. So, that means I am not taking this s power 0. So, here s power 0 is equivalent to 1 that is why no need to consider s power 0 value for a type 0 system. But what is why we are taking s power 0 means for type 0 system the n value is equivalent to 0. The n value is nothing but number of poles at origin. For a type 0 system, we will not have any poles at origin that is why we are considering s power 0. So, here the loop transfer function for type 0 system will be like this. If I applied s tends to 0 here, then what will happen? If I applied s tends to 0, 0 into anything you are going to get 0 here. Now, if you want to calculate ESS, so for unit parabolic signal for any type order if the input is unit parabola the equation to calculate ESS is equivalent to 1 by k. But my k is equivalent to 1 by 0, so that is equivalent to infinity. So the steady state error for a type 0 system if the input is unit parabola is equivalent to infinity. So, now we will go for type 1 system, type 1 system. So, here this is the equation for type 0 system. For a type 0 system n is equal to 0, for a type 1 system n is equal to 1. So, that means whatever the s power n plus is there, so we will have that uh, s place. Now, so, k a is equal to same equation limit s tending to 0 s square into g of s into h of s. But in place of this g of s into h of s, we can write so k into s plus z1 into s plus z2 so on divided by s into s plus p1 s plus p2 so on. Why? Because so, here the n value is equivalent to 1 for a type 1 system in this fundamental equation you will have s power n that n is equivalent to 1. So, that is why we are having s term here. So, now this square and this s is going to cancel and here also we are remind with another s. So, if I applied limit s tends to 0 you are going to get 0 for k again you are getting k is equivalent to 0. So, here if you want to calculate ESS steady state error then you are getting ESS as so 1 by k a so 1 by k a is equal to 1 by 0 again infinity. For type 0 system type 1 system if the input is unit parabola then definitely you are going to get infinity as steady state error. So, here again I am going to take for a type 2 system. For a type 2 system n is equal to 2. So, that means here in place of s power n you will get s square. So, here to calculate k same formula you need to consider s tends to 0 s square into g of s into h of s. So, when you are considering g of s into h of s you need to consider like this Numer numerator will not change. So, s plus z2 so on divided by so s square into s plus p1 s plus p2 so on. So, s square s square are going to cancel. If you apply s tends to 0 here what will happens? If you apply s tends to 0 here 
then you are going to get like this. So, k into z1 into z3 divided by. So, here s plus s uh, sorry s is equivalent to 0. So, p1 into p2 and so on you are going to get. So, that means, so here you are getting constant and here also you are getting constant. So, total k value you are going to get constant. So, when you are given to calculate ESS, ESS is equivalent to 1 by k a, the general equation we derived here 1 by k a. So, 1 by constant you are used to get constant value you are used to get some constant. So, here this is for type 2 system, this is for type 2 system. For example, if you are having any type 3 system, if you are having any type 3 system, then how this k will vary? k is equivalent to limit s tending to 0 s square into in place of g of s into h of s I am directly writing s plus z1, s plus z2 and so on divided by. So, here when you are writing s power n you need to consider n as 3 for type 3 system n is equivalent to 3 s cube into s plus p1, s plus p2. So, square cube will cancel 1 s remain in the denominator when I applied s tends to 0, 1 by 0 form will occur, k a will be is equivalent to infinity. When k is, is equivalent to infinity, then you are going to get your ESS as 1 by k a, 1 by infinity is equivalent to 0. Your ESS value will be is equivalent to 0 for type 3 system. Type 3 system onwards, type 3 or greater order system. If the input is parabolic signal, the steady state error will be 0. Otherwise, for a type 2, type 0, type 1 systems, so you will get some steady state error. For type 1, type 2, especially you will get a infinity steady state error. And for type 2 system, if the input is unit parabola, the steady state error will be constant. I am taking that as list. So, that means uh, mm, here I want to consider as list. So, this is type, type and uh, signal means unit step, unit ramp and parabola I am considering like x of t. So, here if type 0 system is there, 1 system is there, 2 system is there, 3 system is there. For a type 0 system, if the input is unit step, then you are going to get a by 1 plus kb positional error constant if that is unit step then 1 by 1 plus kp i am giving general table a by 1 plus kp so in our derivations we considered with unit amplitude so that's why i we are getting 1 by 1 plus kp so if there is any amplitude then a by 1 plus kp so here you are going to get infinity so here also you are going to get infinity and for 1, so here if type 1 system is there, then if that is unit step signal as input, then you are getting 0 steady state error as 0 and this is steady state error. So, what we are writing is signal error, steady state error when the input is u of t for type 1 system. So, here this is 1 by or a by position velocity error constant. Generally, we got 1 by kv because we considered unit amplitude a by kv and here you are going to get infinity. And now, here for a type 2 system, if the input is unit step, you are going to get 0 and if you are giving ramp, so here also you are going to get 0 and if you are giving parabola for a type 2 system, you are going to get a by k. So, that means 1 by k. So, if you observe, if that is 
type 2 system and if you are giving unit parabola as input then your study state error will be a by k. So, you can observe here if this is type 2 system here type 2 system you are giving unit parabola. So, you are getting some constant that constant is equivalent to a by k a. In this case we got 1 by k a because we consider the parabola with unit amplitude. If you are considering parabola with amplitude a so then you will get a by s cube. So, in the derivation also you will get a by k a. I am giving general table. So, here if the type 3 system is there then you given unit step also you will get steady state error 0 and uh, ramp uh, unit ramp also steady state uh, error equivalent to 0. Unit parabola also you will get steady state error is equivalent to 0. This is very important table you just keep in mind. So, this is the shortcut table to understand the steady state error for the different type of signals. So, you can see you, can, you, you need to consider types here and you need to consider the signals here then this will shows the steady state error. So, in diagonal you need to consider your steady state error constants and downside you will get all zeros and top side you will get infinity. When you got question related to this you just directly write this table and you just trace the given data you just compare the given data with this table you are going to get the answer within 1 minute without doing this total procedure. But the procedure to get this data is this in the previous 3 videos we done to get this data.